which was christened eight days into the season. This was the hottest ticket in town, as fans wanted a chance to take part in baseball history. For the White Sox, who won their first six games, the best on this day came early when former Governor Jim Thompson tossed out the first pitch. But then Cecil Fielder was just itching to try out the new fences. That's high in the right field. Sammy goes back. That ball is deep. Sammy on the track, looks up. You can put it on the board. A uh, three-run homer by Cecil Fielder, and the Tigers lead it four-zip. Four-zip eventually became 16-zip. Not exactly the kind of homecoming Sox fans had in mind. With last year's MVP front and center, the Baltimore Orioles pulled out all the stops for opening day at brand new Camden Yards, an old-time ballpark in the heart of downtown. But on this day, it was the future, not the past, that was on the minds of Oriole fans as they flocked to Camden Yards in what was the first of 67 sellouts, 59 of them in a row. A former first baseman from Yale tossed out the first pitch, and the season was underway. For a team coming off a sixth place finish, Hopes for getting off to a winning start rested with former Chicago Cub Rick Sutcliffe, and neither he nor his teammates would disappoint. They'll drive to center. Devereaux got a late break of the ball. Still going back. Still going back. He's got it at the wall. The side is retired. The first sensational catch at Camden Yards. <laughs> and thanks to nine brilliant innings from Sutcliffe, the Orioles' first win. The Orioles have won it. strike first pitch at 212 strike out as if it's a Nolan Ryan mow down coming up here oh and he's punched out Frank Pulley called the pitch on the outside corner and the Marlins have won the World Series there's one out strike three the Marlins have won another World Series And the 3-2 pitch. Fly ball deep left field. It is mile high and out of here. A little lollipop curve that falls over for a strike. And the Prez was witnessing history. Randy Johnson, a no-hitter into the eighth. Sandy Alomar ruins history. The single to right. It unraveled Johnson. Runners at second and third. Manny Ramirez deep to left. And this one off the mini green monster. It scores Candy Maldonado and Alomar. And this game is tied at two. Bottom of the 11th, tied at three. Wayne Kirby goes the other way. It scores Eddie Murray. And the Indians celebrate a 4-3 victory. Key to the game, getting that first hit. Home run, you win a suit. Strike up the band. Emotionally uplifting, again. Nolan yep. Ryan. Top of the fourth, Dave There's Nielsen. No Kenny Rogers, today. Rip City. The first home run at the park. Nielsen second. And watch the fan try to throw the ball back. And the youngster who knows all about the value of a bait. Hold on. Let's let it mature. That's cash down the road. Bottom of the seventh, Will Clark. Boom. First of the season. First at home for the Rangers. Over the Tom Thumb sign. Texas down 4-2. Bottom of the eighth, 4-3. Bases loaded. Mark Kiefer. Facing Juan Gonzalez, the man you want up with the bases juiced. And he reaches out and grounds out the inning-ending double play. The Brewers escape 4-3. The home opener spoiled. Gonzalez went 0-4. for 4. Canseco 0-3. for 3. Bottom of the 14th, down 9-8, two runners on. Dante Inferno. Dangerous. Dante Bichette. A high drive. Way back. And there's 
the storybook ending for the Rockies. The Rockies have won it on the home run by Bichette at last. I'm going to say it one more time, maybe a few more times. It's good to have the big leaguers back. Rockies win. Plate. Tom wants to throw some over the plate. Ted turns. Mm -hmm. Some of the new lights at the stadium didn't work. Ted, get on it. Grant Brown at the plate. To left, to left Ryan Klesko. Ooh, it was caught in the broken light. It will drop in. Deer in headlights. Bottom of the third, Michael Tucker at the plate. Michael Tucker's got a natural upswing. If he ever grows into his body, he's going to hit the 30 home runs. But look at this drive right here. Looking forward to the growing into the body. Keith Lockhart to right. Ryan Klesko scores. Sammy Sosa, he's got a cannon. Lopez, 2-2. No. Bottom of the seventh, 4-2 Cubs. Chipper Jones inside outs, one to right. Kenny Lofton on, he's in. Sammy kicks it a little bit. 4-3 Cubs. Chipper from both sides. And he goes the other way again. Stays with the ball so well and just drives it right-handed, left-handed, either way. Stays on the ball so long, they will drive it the other way. Got caught in a little run down here, though. Braves up 5-4. Dave Hansen, Mark Lemke. We got a double play in the Braves. Turner Field celebrates a victory. There's Alvarez on the hill. 45,369 fans at Tropicana Field on their feet. First pitch in double race history, and it's a ball to Brian Hunter. All right. Umpire Rich Garcia sets the ball, double meaning aside, so it can go to the Hall of Fame. Woohoo! All right. Scoreless top two sacks Jack for Joe Randa. Randa. Get at me, dog. Smacks a line drive over Wade Boggs' head into left field for a double. Tigers open the second with five straight hits. Clark and Damien easily score. First runs given up by the Rays. Randa went three for six on the day, three RBI. Bottom third, six zip Tigers. Dave Martinez making history. Chopper that bounces off first base into right field for a single. Martinez two for three. Not pretty, but the Devil Rays first hit. Wade Boggs, who's got 2,094 singles in his 2,800 hits. Peace. Two-run homer. First Devil Rays home run, Boggs, 110th career, Jack. He gets his props, but the Devil Rays get a loss. A park place also has a swimming pool in it. Buck Showalters, first game as manager since 1995. Jerry Colangelo gives fans Richard and Ashley Volpe the chance to throw out the first pitch, and it was about as good as Andy Bennis' first pitch. First pitch of the game. Hey, how did the umpire know it was a ball? Too many flashes going off. Bottom one, 22-year-old Travis Lee rocks Daryl Kyle's world, the guy who hit 331 in the minors, first diamond back hit. And then Lee takes Kyle out in the sixth. That's why Travis hit 32 homers in the minors last year. First run scored, first home run by the Diamondbacks. 5-1 Rockies, top seven. Runners on first and third for Vinny Castilla. Vinny says, I am not a player, I just crush a lot. He had three... He had 40 homers and hit 304 and 96. He had 40 homers and hit 304 and 97. This was the second of two opening day homers. His 15th career multi-homer. His former team breaks out their new ballpark. The $517 million Safeco Field with the retractable roof. First time there's been outdoor big league baseball in Seattle in 30 years. During BP Tuesday, Junior and John Mabry sent balls off the Hit It Here Cafe in right field. The Mariners' first opponent for the new ballpark San Diego, some interleague love. Top nine, pods down, 2-1, nobody's on. Jose Mesa walks Ruben Rivera on a pitch way out of the strike zone. Maybe that's why Mesa has a 7.36 ERA. Next batter, John Vanderwall. He gets the free pass. Lou Pinella needs a hug. Next batter, Ed Giovanola. Mesa walks him to load the bases. Pinella's like, Jose, d don't, don't. Two batters later, Kivio Veras. Mesa walks Veras to drive in the tying run. Four walks by Mesa in the ninth. Mariners 13 blown saves this year. Mesa gets the hook.